Hi, Chrissy. This is Vicki. I just watched your video, and I'm going to try to respond with my answers. Uh, you had asked about, first of all, if you were just diagnosed with diabetes, uh, sorry to hear that. Um, the diet that, the only diet that has really ever worked for me before even thinking about weight loss surgery was the low carb diet. Yeah, I know that's like a fad diet. Okay, it's temporary. Which at one point I did lose 75 pounds, but uh, I did end up gaining it all back. I mean, if you go on a diet, that's that's kind of what happens, right? <laughs> you end up stopping, and you gain it all back. That's why diets don't work. Anyway, I guess you just have to consider it a way of life, whatever it is that you choose to do. Um, but I really enjoyed the low carb. And that might work for you, considering the fact that you were just diagnosed with diabetes. That may be what your nutritionist might have you lean more towards, depending on, uh, I guess, what, I, I mean, I've never, well, I've, I've had gestational diabetes when I was pregnant, but that was about it. Um, and I remember they had said something about, stay away from the sugar. <laughs> it was really funny, just a little side story. That when I was pregnant and I was diagnosed with, uh, not cancer, um, diabetes, my husband worked right down the street from the factory that made my very favorite candy that I haven't had in forever. Like two days after I, he found out that I was diagnosed with diabetes, he came home with a six pack of that candy, fresh, fresh, just made, and I could have killed him. <laughs> I said, I just had, I just found out I have gestational diabetes, and you are bringing me this candy. What's the matter with you? And you know, of course I had to eat it. <laughs> oh, I'll never forget that. Ever, 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 ever. And every single bite of it was so good. <laughs> but, yeah, that's another thing. Don't let anybody bring any junk in your house if you're trying to lose weight, especially if you, if you have diabetes. <laughs> uh, as far as, you know, I had to go on the six-month diet pre-op. But uh, I really screwed that up big time. Big time. You know, and the closer I got, you know, I would lose weight, and I would gain it, lose it, and gain it, lose it, and gain it. And um, as I was as I was getting closer to surgery day, I think I ballooned to 310 pounds, like my highest weight ever, because I had what I call last meal syndrome. I ate everything that I could possibly eat because I just thought in my mind I will never ever 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 be able to eat this again so I'm going to eat that candy I'm going to eat that ice cream I'm going to have that cheesecake and that brownie and bring it on I mean Easter time the sales after Easter when everything's 50% off or 75% off I was all over that I was in the candy aisle again all kinds of candy and I just ate till I was like I couldn't eat anymore <laughs> and that's um I think a lot of us actually go through that uh, right before surgery. I don't know. I just know that I wasn't alone. I know that other people were doing that too. But I mean, it's almost like I was make, eat, eating myself sick, though. I felt so miserable when I was doing it, you know? But um, when it came down to the nitty gritty, and it came down to the time of the surgery, you know, I went to the pre-op class, they told me exactly what to do, and I, you know, I finally, you know, I wiped the slate clean in my mind, and I said, I'm going to do everything, everything that the surgeon in the um, pre-op class is saying to do. And they said, do the diet like two to four weeks before surgery. Well, I started my pre-op diet two weeks before surgery. And during those two weeks, I lost 20 pounds. It was liquid. It was almost very similar to the slim fast diet, but it was a protein. Sh it was like a protein shake for lunch, protein shake for breakfast, uh, a protein snack, and a sensible dinner. 
I made it simple. My sensible dinner was a lean cuisine meal. So I didn't have to think about cooking anything. I had everything stocked. And, and, I, and that's, that's one thing that you should always do is have your, your kitchen stocked with everything you need so you don't screw up. But I did, I, I followed the directions to the T. Uh, it, you know, I've even heard of some people saying that they don't have to go on a pre-op diet. Well, my surgeon said that, you know, your liver is sitting right on top of your stomach, right on top of where they'll, they'll be working at. And the reason why he wants you to go on the pre-op diet is to shrink your liver because your liver is probably fatty, you know, and and if they mix your liver or something like that, it's not going to be good. So that scared me, and and I, I think if your doctor doesn't require you to go on a pre-op diet, I would recommend doing some sort of pre-op diet on your own anyway, just for extra insurance that things will go right. Um, but uh. I did. I followed the directions to a T. Did everything that I was supposed to do. I went into surgery. The surgery was was perfect. No complications at all. And my recovery was really good too. So I can't really say I had any regrets as far as that um, goes. Uh, I have lost 80 pounds so far. So I do have some loose skin. I really like to wear those uh, I, I don't know what people call them Sphinx or Fanks or something like that. I don't know what they're called. But I wear the, uh, the underwear that gives you a little extra support and hug. And those, um, the things that go like from under your chest all the way down, you know, down to your thighs. Just kind of those things to kind of hold everything in while I'm wearing my clothes so I, there's not a bunch of jigglies. Around, I don't have a specific favorite yet, but maybe somebody else will have be more informative on that. But uh, I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. I hope everything works out for you um, with your paperwork and everything. And uh, that's it. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Bye.